DC, take it away. The king of Rio is back in the win column. Jose Aldo, what a fantastic performance. How good does it feel to be back in the win column over a very tough Brandon, uh, Marlon Vera? Sorry. O rei do Rio está de volta e uma vitória expressiva. Como você se sente depois de uma vitória? Não somente uma vitória, mas contra o Marlon Vera. É, me sinto muito bem, obrigado. Daniel, thank you so much, man. É, eu fico bem, bem feliz, né? Eu acho que eu estava precisando de uma vitória nessa categoria. Eu vim para hoje para lutar, para vencer. E eu só tenho que agradecer meus treinadores, minha médica, todo mundo. O pessoal lá da Marinha do Cefã, o professor. Né, meus garotos lá me, me alinharam bem para chegar no box aí, então só tenho que agradecer essas pessoas. É uh, importante to come back in the win column, important to win, and I, all I have to do is just thank all the people that trained me and all the people that have been sticking around with us uh, all along, uh, and I have to thank them all. You know, Jose, coach asked you to get a takedown at the end of the third round. A very close fight. You went and got that takedown, kept the back the entire round. Did you feel confident that you had done enough to get the victory. No corner, no third round, you managed to get that takedown. There was a request for you to do that. Did you feel confident? Confident in that moment, you managed to do that. Yes, yes, Daniel. I trained a lot in MMA. I think I was fighting in the box, box, I was fighting without feet. I told you that we needed to give a adjustment. So I looked to do the third round. He asked me how I was feeling. I said that I was doing well. I had the opportunity to put it back down. So he said that I was doing well. Um pouco mais para frente do round, né? Eu fui e botei logo no começo ele pegar as costas. Depois que eu fiz o corte ali é muito difícil sair. I trained really hard for this and of course I I mean I kind of disobeyed him a little bit because he told me to do that but not in the first minute and I did it right away. Um, but I ended it ended up that it worked. <laughs> Jose for a guy that has done everything over the course of his fight career, what do you want to do next? When do you expect when do we expect to see you again inside of the octagon? You've done it all. So what are the goals for Jose Aldo right now? Então, acho primeiro tem que deixar um feliz Natal, um próximo ano novo, um ano maravilhoso. Esse ano está bem ruim. Eu só tenho que agradecer também a todo mundo do teammate, a UFC em geral, o Dana, o Sean Shelby, vocês também que está fazendo a gente trabalhar aí. Eu acho nós atletas do nosso esporte de MMA sempre bem na frente. E sobre o próximo oponente, acho que seria uma ótima luta entre eu e o Dilochão, né? Ele falou. Tá falando bastante, agora que ele está saindo da suspensão. Dena, pode marcar aí que a gente vai estar tá pronto. Well, first of all, I want to wish a happy, uh, a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to all of us. It's been, it's been a tough year. And I want to thank everyone at UFC for actually letting us at work and, and, and make things happen all throughout this. And uh, of course, as far as the, the next fight, uh, it will be Dillashaw. We'll be talking about Dillashaw a lot. Says, hey, Dana, make it happen. Jose Aldo, it is an honor for us to call you fight every single time you go to the Octagon. Congratulations on a big victory, and I cannot wait to watch you compete again. Congratulations. Ladies Thank and gentlemen, the King of Rio, Jose Aldo. Thank you so much, buddy. Thank you so much.